We've come to the foothills of Mount Nittany, Beaver Stadium in State College, Pennsylvania. Today, the Michigan State Spartans meet the Penn State Nittany Lions on the final weekend of the Big Ten season. Only one is in control of its own destiny. Well, obviously, Penn, uh, Purdue, Purdue wins today. They win the Big Ten. They go to the Rose Bowl. Other teams all have a shot. Ohio State, Michigan, Northwestern, they have a shot if Purdue wins. So I think you take Penn a look State at it. State has won the toss. Number 36, Mike Ceramelli. Deferred and their decision in the second half. Per pick, per Final weekend of the Big Ten season. Good to have you with us. And here's the opening kickoff. Good, strong kick. Foster lets it go over his head to the back of the end zone. And Michigan State will put it in play. Long setback. Three wide receivers set. That's a tight end in the slot of the bottom of your screen. Duckett stacked up initially and then driven down. Jamar Finney made the stop. Justin Kirpakis, All-America candidate at defensive right Jamar end for Penn Finney State. James Boyd on the tackle. The linebackers are not up to Penn State standards per se. Jamar Finney, the best of this bunch. Well, a safety that is up to their standards. James Boyd, a heck of a hitter, leads this team with over 100 tackles. Third down, about six for Michigan State. Spartans have struggled this year on third down conversions to 32% last in the conference. Immediate pressure right away. Anthony Adams, the sophomore from Detroit, Michigan, gets the first sack of the day, a loss of nine. Couldn't have been blocked. A little stunt, uh, a missed mental assignment by Sean Mason, the right guard generally. Here out of Hoboken, New Jersey. And Penn State offensively has struggled at times this season, and a lot of it has to do with the interior offensive line. We'll talk about that in a moment. Straight eye formation, Eric McCoo. Boy, he picked his way nicely. Penn State offensive line, Kareem McKenzie is an outstanding performer at the strong tackle position, but the interior of the line has been questionable all year. When you look at the skilled positions with the problems at wide receiver, Tony Stewart, the tight end, outstanding, leads this team in receptions. Second down and four, that's Stewart in motion. Again, McCoo, big hole to the 35-30, to the 25-20, and he's bulldog down by Thomas Wright near the 17-yard line. He has to run through. He gets by Newsom right here, and then it just becomes a foot race, and Wright chases him down, but if Penn State can set that. Again, Stewart, the man in motion. They're coming on a blitz with Thornhill, the linebacker. And McCoo gets it. Michigan State, one of the best in the country in third down defense. Casey under pressure, gets it away, throws it over the middle. Got a man breaking free. Tough catch by Gilmore, and he gets the extra yard on second effort. But it was the tight end. Well, he, he was the one that Casey, the only one that Casey had to go to. Nice play by Casey to get rid of that ball and to throw it where it gave Gilmore a chance to catch it. See how he throws it low so Wright can't get in there. Anytime McCoo you throw it. is the tailback behind Richard Casey. They go to McCoo to the outside. Oh, a little dip on the corner that time. McCoo to the goal line, and he's down just short. Second down on the goal line. That's Blouser, a fullback in motion. And Rashard Casey leaps it over for the first touchdown of the day. first they got good field position 51 yard drive Casey takes it the final lead to the end zone you're watching Big Ten football on ESPN plus involved with his players personally there's some of that emotion that maybe he feels that the stress is gone from his point of view also soft coverage on the corners smoker under pressure sacked once again this time the other interior lineman jimmy kennedy a defensive line coming right over the center and guards and this time we see again sean mason just can't fight off kennedy this is a defensive Staying line very that lucid appears right now playing well we got good blocking there larry johnson off to the races larry johnson touchdown 58 yards best 58 yard run look at the blocking up front my goodness his fourth career rushing touchdown Penn State in command early you're watching Big Ten football on ESPN plus that's Baker the tight end in motion he's a good one smoker on the bootleg being pressured by Kirk a sack for the third time today Throw it away because it's not there at all. This time, Kerpakis, with his athletic ability, isn't full, and then brings Smoker down one-on-one. -on -one. And Wayne, as good as this vision, the shotgun on third and ten. Over 
shot, Herb Haygood. LaVale Richardson was wide. Gilded Stewart in motion. The fake to McCoo. Pitch and catch down the sidelines. Gilmore gets the game, especially with the play action pass. This guy's been successful too. Larry Johnson, first down, reaching in so far. Casey rolling. Off the hands of one receiver, caught by another. Watson to the end zone for the touchdown. Went off the hands of Drummond and Kenny Watson, five yards downfield, picks it off and takes it in for the score. Once again, when the passing, when the running game is working, it opens up the passing game. Here you see an, an open Eddie Drummond right there, wide open underneath, but a poor throw, and then just the fortunate bounce. And Watson's in the right place at the right time. Scores his second <laughs> touchdown receiving this year. Now, I'm sure in your long career as a quarterback on many different levels, uh, you've had situations State. like that. Yes, guys. I was here two weeks ago in that double overtime game with Iowa, the game that Penn State lost at halftime in that game. Second down. Little John Flowers gets the call. Four receiver package for Michigan State. Smoker has time. Quick throw is kicked and nearly caught. Kicked by a defender. The ball thrown nowhere to a receiver looking or expecting the ball. On the fake reverse, Casey still has it, and he's going for all the marbles. Deep downfield, and he's got his man, Eddie Drummond, at the 20-yard line. You something to stop it. Now, Casey held this ball for a long time. He's got a very strong arm and just poorly played by Seven. Motion once again from Stewart, the tight end. Casey rolling that way. Now he tucks it. Gets a block from McKenzie. Got a first down as he's roped out of bounds on the far side. Penalty markers fly late. State this season. We got a power formation going. Casey comes up throwing out of it, and he'll take it in himself. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. It's 27 to nothing on a three-yard touchdown scamper by Rashard Casey. Take a look at the touchdown here as Casey runs the bootleg again. Really doesn't open up for him right away, but as no receiver opens up, he sees the field open and just clearly can walk right into the end zone. Pretty good coverage that time as Michigan State recognized that play early. Here you look at it from Michigan State's perspective. Nobody's even looking into the backfield to try and stop Casey. We're a better team, we feel, than Michigan State. We need to win this game, which will help us improve for next season. Smoker running option. Tyrell Dortch, the freshman, is stacked up. Thompson now take over again, and Smoker on second down. It gets it out to his receiver, Baker, and on the sideline for this Spartan offense on the left side. But on the right side, it's been all good for Penn State. Wait, Wayne, I don't know which is more impressive, the minus five for Michigan State or the 247 yards for Penn State in an offense that's really struggled all season. Second highest scoring first quarter for Penn State this season. They had 27 points against La Tech earlier. Penalty marker down early is Howard Maryland. On second down, Smoker running option again, keeps it. And a good decision he gets out of Smoker. Did a good job to get seven on that play. Smoker to the sidelines. Got a receiver open. Bao Ju makes the first down inside Penn State territory for the first time today. Little John Flowers. He can stay football inside the 30 of Penn State. T.J. Duckett met in the hole as he tried to slant it back by James Boyd. We spoke plays and they had on the other four just about combined. T.J. Duckett hit hard, breaks the tackle, and he's got young. Smoker, the quick toss, pitch and catch, and he's got Ivory McCoy. Duckett's the lone back, and he gets it. They tried to seal the right side, and Duckett slipped up. Smoker takes the snap from Otney. Quick little slant dropped on the play by Ivory McCoy. This will be a 22-yard field goal attempt. Craig Jarrett, the holder, and the kick is up, and it is good. Well, the Spartans, a long drive, didn't net seven, but they got their first points of the game. This is Big Ten points. Not only did you stop them, stop them quickly, give their offense good field position. The Nittany Lions begin this drive at their 25-yard line, first and ten. Casey, lots of time. Goes short to Saramelli, the fullback, and he's wrestled down. They see the short drop. Tried to hit the slant to Watson. 
Brown won a pass. Seven yard line, Penn State territory. That's Stewart in motion again. And now rolling is Richard Casey. He's going deep, and he's got a man out there, and it's juggled and dropped incomplete. The true freshman, Tony Third Johnson. Down now. Blitz coming, or so it appears. Casey, lots of time, by some more. Now under pressure with nowhere to go, and he's brought down. Three points. They need seven on this drive. Following the block, T.J. Duckett, very patient Slugger runner. Look at the time of possession here in the second quarter. Heavily in favor of Michigan State. Chris Baker down the sidelines. Biggest play of the game for the Spartans. Three receivers set. Waters at the top of your screen. Smoker. Let's it go. Nice catch. Hurt. Double tight end formation here. Smoker out of a running formation going for the end zone. LaVale Richardson there. Touchdown! 21-yard pass play to 1998. I don't know if 28 is enough. KC keeps it himself. KC under some pressure from Hendricks. Able to escape, found a receiver, and Casey from the shotgun, on the keeper, fumbled the football out of bounds, he was hit, the ball field, Smoker's in the shotgun, over the middle, and he's got Richardson on a sensational, rushes on, Smoker this time is hammered down. Finney, the linebacker, and of Michigan State. And, and nothing thwarts that more than a sack because Smoker, anytime you can disrupt the rhythm a quarterback gets into, he's got the... Smoker scrambling. Under pressure from Kennedy, throws it out of bounds. Second down for Penn State. McCoo picks his way. Almost had the ball taken away from him and wrapped up by Kyle Rasmussen. Time winding down. I believe they're going to let the clock wind down to the end. No one's going to stop the clock here. Third down. Third down coming up for Penn State. Well, the sun's shining through the uh, cloud cover at the moment. Perhaps that's appropriate for Penn State because their bright first quarter has given them an 18-point lead by halftime. Michigan State trying to become bowl eligible needs to overcome that 18 point deficit on the road in a tough place to play State College Pennsylvania 273 yards for Penn State that's really good but they had 247 after the first quarter Michigan State almost nothing in the first quarter all of that coming in the second quarter and the time of possession heavily in favor of Michigan State we talked about a Michigan State is a physical football team Penn State does better against teams that are more finesse that spread you out the Spartan power in that first set to go. David Schaefer has it on the tee, and we are underway in this the second half. Third quarter, Larry Johnson makes the catch near the four. Johnson picking his way on the short side of the field, finally angled out of bounds. A uh, knee injury early this season. Now Casey, this is a keeper. Straight quarterback sweep, and he is second down. and ten, no gain on that play. Casey, they picked up the blitz well. Wide open, and he has got his man, Tony Johnson. Blitz, look how well it's picked up. There you see McCoo pick up Richard Brown. That opens the alleyway, and Richard Casey can hit a and wide open. Michigan State. Casey on the fake handoff, gets a good block. Boy, and look at the tight end sustain hit. And about two. Casey, got the running back in front to block for him. Eric McTerritory territory and on first down to the shotgun. Richard Casey under a blitz from Richard Brown. Hit as he pop flies at the right side. Eric McCoo juggling, catches it in the end zone. Touchdown! Oh, what a play on both ends! 31 yards! And it was an adventure from the very beginning. Stands in there. Now you watch McCoo lined up at the wide receiver position. Watch him just go right by Cedric Henry. Now that's a cornerback covering a running back. You want that kind of matchup if you're a defensive coordinator. Watch this juggling act down the sidelines. Latch on in the end zone for the score. You're watching the Big Ten on ESPN+. Plus.
Smoker, the Pennsylvania native, to Richardson on the sidelines. Richardson finally angled up. For the big running plays Michigan State has had this year. Double tight end set. Smoker under pressure. Penalty marker is down. Pants nearly intercepted by this drive against Michigan State. On first and long, they set up a screen. Little John Flowers across the 20. Makes it that much better for that team. Smoker under a rush, under pressure, by some time. Oh, and Watson could not haul it in. Picked up valuable yards, but maybe not huge numbers. Key first down. Omar Easy cuts it back around the right. It's too end. tough for me, Mon. I want to rest a little longer. <laughs> he gets it again. No rest for the weary. 11-yard gain on his last carry, and he's second gets down. KC short set throws the slant. He's got Larry Johnson. KC under pressure from Myers, sets up a screen easy, breaks a couple of hand tackles, and he's inside the 30. Down it's a first down for Penn State. Omar Easy, big hole right side, and he plows inside the 20. The sense of embarrassment setting in for Michigan State as Penn State's had their way with them. Nice blocking up front. Easy doing his game in your favor. Johnson. First down. But it's went over second down game. here now. KC sets up a screen pass. Omar Easy. Touchdown. 17 yards, and that was too easy. He is a load. Here you see the blitz coming right there. Josh Thornhill and Aldo Hill go right by him. Generally, when you blitz, you count on the back, blocking and picking you up. So it's set up by the quarterback. Omar Easy all alone. I'll tell you, it's a lonely feeling. You're watching Big Ten football on ESPN+. Plus. Good leverage into this end-over-end -end kick. Sean Foster, yard deep, comes out of there. Oh, and look at this hit. My goodness. Derek across the 10-yard line, Michigan State territory. T.J. Duckett escaping to the outside. And Duckett turns up field, got those shifter. Yeah, Randy, what did you guys do the week after? Uh, I think it was a lot like today. We were wearing white. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the tight end, and Baker stays in play and picks up another five or six yards. Two players can benefit from, and that's really the measure today in the Big Ten. Smoker under pressure, and it's raining Lions in the Spartan backfield. Sacked back near the 44-yard line. Tackles Kennedy and Adams. Here, nobody really respecting the play action pass right there because the run hasn't worked very well. Look at all the blue jerseys back there. Smoker's just got no chance right here. Well, they came with the blitz, and again, Pettigrew, the hero. But I don't think so. Smoker. Flush from the pocket, chased by Kirpakis. Smoker lets it go, and he's got his man inside. Oh, very Penn fluid. Spartan 7 of 14 on fourth downs this year. Blitz is on. No chance for Smoker. They brought the linebacker, Horace Dodd. Six sacks for Penn State's defense here today. Trying to set up the screen to the left. There's nobody there. It was well defensed. And the problem with that is it's your only option. You know, State 47 yard line for Richard Casey and company. Mike Ceremelli, the fullback, gets the call. Third down for Penn State. They screen it out. Ceremelli gets a nice block off the right side. First down and more. Drew Young brings him down. Seneca is a sophomore from Allentown, Pennsylvania. His first pass play of the game broke it up incomplete. McCoo was open, but ball took a little. State coming on a blitz. Seneca and the ball tipped incomplete. That was, team is three of four last week at Michigan. This one line drive kick is no nope. going on. They had to put more and more on his shoulders, and then with the success that he had had, Fran Gana started questioning. Third and two, Michigan State. At the Spartan 43, Duckett's got the first down, and he's got the midfield marker turned back at the 49. State defense that came in giving up just 304 yards a game total, the offense. It's first in the Big Ten, 17th nationally. Well, Penn State has put 428 on the board. Look how balanced that is, too. 218 in the air, 210 on the ground. Says yeah. He can be. I, I could qualify it with the word document. <laughs> Smoker gets it away and it's nearly intercepted by Tikus Pettigrew. Oh, early and, and wasn't ready to, so he goes to Michigan State and here you take a look there. Uh, the hit right there kind of gets sandwiched. Boy, does he take a heck of a shot right there. minutes to, to go in the game. 
Ryan Van Dyke on a quarterback in place of Jeff Smoker. And Van Dyke to the air off play action, and he is going deep for LaVale Richardson. Incomplete. Good and quite hard. cover that completely. Van Dyke. It's the short pattern to the tight end, Ivory McCoy. He sustained further injuries. Van Dyke under a blitz. Derek Toll on the left side of the offensive line. They have given up that sack, but that was a blitz that came through. And now Van Dyke gets a wide receiver. Congratulations to him for making that effort and getting in there. Fourth down and five on the slant. the ball, but pretty crowded area to try and catch it in. This is Matt Seneca in relief of Rashard Casey, and this is Larry Johnson. Boy, how did he break that first tackle? He picks up Hopefully with some of the injuries that they can get back, that offensive line will be improved. Seneca on a sweep. Quarterback sweep. <laughs> Seneca is angled on And if things continue, that will not happen. Upton with a good block, allowing the quarterback a few glimmers of sunshine here and there. Under a blitz, Van Dyke sets up the screen. Little John Flowers. And didn't quite get back far. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. 15 the best with that running defense shutting down. Bucket. They picked up the blitz nicely. We get a true feel for him because of the injuries of the types that he has had. How about this hole for T.J. Duckett? 44-yard score. T.J. Duckett. That's a little bit like what he did last year. Well, to, to, to come here not knowing if he'll be here for their full tenure, I think that's when he'll step down. Eric McCoo got a Eric second Stim one next year like he had this year. Then I think he'll seriously look at things. Yeah. Especially since you can enjoy this during the months off, then maybe next year they might the be game. Okay. Van Dyke throws a decisive pass. Duckett looking for running room close Back to, the, to the last several years. And you look at Wisconsin, who has won the Big Ten. Or a 7-0 lead. Nice throw and catch. And out of bounds. There's rivalry goes beyond football between those two teams. Richardson there, and the play broke it up beautifully by James Boyd, who has had an all big And I just didn't get the ball high enough, but I think it was just an outstanding play by Boyd as he comes over, knocks that ball. Tackles for James Boyd. Van Dyke under pressure now. They swing out a pass to Wilson. He made the first man miss, and now he's got some help. Wilson inside the 10 to the 5, diving for the end zone. Touchdown. What an effort. Travis Wilson, redshirt freshman, Howell, Michigan, 26-yard run. Done. Into the end zone. And now the onside kick. Somewhat predictable here. Ball tipped in, covered on the play successfully by Penn State. Tony Johnson gathered it in. <laughs> Well, they've got the governor of uh, Minnesota doing analyst 15 carries. Seneca ran into trouble here. Small trying for the uh, corner of the coffin. And it caroms into the end zone. David Arroyo. Run. And I think he really did a nice job. Should be very happy with his performance overall this season especially to, to have to play. But Van Dyke also, a, a good quarterback, very talented this year, kind of a, and not really a wasted year. D.J. Duckett, maybe the final carry of his season. Season, maybe one of his longest seasons. In terms of disappointment, this game finishes on a high note. And there's the reception by Richardson, gets by Tikus Pettigrew, but James Boyd, who set the record for defensive backs making tackles at Penn State, gets the final tackle of this season. Joe Paterno heads over. He's just a victory short of Bear Bryant on the all-time wins list for coaches and handshakes. And this one comes to an end. Bitter defeat for Michigan State. They had a lot at stake coming in here today with a bowl bid on the line. They lose and fall to five and six, and they will not go to a postseason. Penn State gets the win, finishes five and seven, and there is a look right there. 323 for Paul Bear Bryant, 322 for Joe Paterno. He had expected to uh, eclipse that 323 this season, but things didn't quite go that way uh, for Penn State. A rough season that began with a couple of shocking non-conference losses.
But they finished the year on a high note in winning this game here today.